Check this out. Tarantino was recently at Cannes Film Festival and he was talking about his upcoming 10th movie called The Movie Critic, which is actually going to be his last movie before he moves on to other endeavors like television or writing a book or whatever it is. But he definitely wants to go out on a high note in terms of making movies. And um, he was really sort of honing in on the fact that he's going to have this be a theatrical release because we all know how Tarantino and some of the other great filmmakers feel about the cinematic experience. He was talking about doing this movie with Sony because they're sort of like the last studio in town that he feels is really dedicated to the whole theatrical experience versus sort of just putting out big expensive movies and dumping them on their streaming network in a sea full of content where people barely even know that it's there. Now here's where the conversation got interesting because Tarantino called out Netflix and Ryan Reynolds specifically as an example of what he was talking about. He used the two movies, Red Notice and The Atom Project, as an example of movies that really just didn't make any real cultural impact after being unceremoniously released on the streaming service. So here's the quote. I mean, and I'm not picking on anybody, but apparently for Netflix, Ryan Reynolds has made 50 million on this movie and 50 million on that movie and 50 million on the next movie for them. This is what he said. And I don't know what any of those movies are. I've never seen them. Have you? I haven't ever talked to Ryan Reynolds' agent, but his agent is like, well, it costs 50 million. And then in Tarantino's voice, well, good for him that he's making so much money, but those movies don't exist in the zeitgeist. It's almost like they don't even exist. Now, to be fair, that movie Red Notice that Ryan Reynolds did with Netflix brought in, uh, according to Netflix, 328 million viewing hours, which, you know, according to them, this is uh, like the highest most watched movie in Netflix history. So obviously somebody watched it. Now, his point being, though, overall, is that a lot of these big budget movies don't really have a lasting impact that's pretty much what i took away from what he was talking about now personally i haven't seen red notice or the adam project but you know that's those movies just you know i didn't really grab me when i saw the trailer it wasn't anything i felt like i needed to see but curious on what you guys think does tarantino have a point or is he just sort of being a film snob let me know